Hey, welcome to UK Wild Crafts. Here we have one of the most deadly poisonous mushrooms in the world, the death cap, Amanita phalloides. Most fungi related poisoning deaths in Europe are due to the misidentification of this mushroom. So it's a very important one to learn if you're a mushroom forager. Along with the destroying angel, the funeral bell, and a few others, you'll find that any of the mushrooms that are deadly poisonous will be pretty clear in their names about the toxicity. And you may be wondering why I'm handling them if they're so deadly poisonous. Well, it's okay. They're only toxic if you eat them. No UK mushrooms can poison you by touch. So how to identify the death cap? First of all, the location. They grow in mixed woodlands, especially near oak trees, which as you can see, where the leaves is what we've mostly got growing here. And they're also commonly found near beech trees. And you'll mostly see them popping up after a heavy rain from July through to November. There are quite a lot of death caps all through this woodland at different stages of growth, which helps with the identification. So when they're really young, the caps are convex like this. And then as they mature, they flatten out like this. The caps can grow to around 15 centimeters across, though around 10 centimeters is more common. They're a color between olive green and yellow, and I think they've got an almost metallic looking color to them. As they mature, you'll often get a darker colouring towards the centre of the cap. An important feature for deaf caps and most amanitas is this, the vulva. It's an egg-shaped sac which the mushroom erupted from. This vulva is often found just below the ground, so when you're harvesting edible mushrooms you need to check the base of the stem to make absolutely sure you haven't accidentally picked a death cap. There's an ongoing argument that I often hear about between mushroom foragers. When you're harvesting edible mushrooms, whether you should cut them with a knife or whether you should pull them out by the base. Now the thought is that if you pull them out by the base, it can damage the mycelium underneath the ground which there's actually no evidence for. So I recommend, especially if you're new to foraging and you're not completely sure of your ID, that you pull them out at the base and check below the ground for any vulva. If you just cut them at the stem and leave part of the mushroom underground, you may be accidentally picking a death cap or a, a different amanita. So very important feature, this vulva egg sac. So when we look at the stems of the death cap, you'll see they're an off-white to yellowish colour and they've got this zigzag sort of pattern on them. The stems are quite broad at the base when they're coming out of the vulva and they narrow slightly towards the cap. Also the stem has this quite obvious skirt on and this skirt has these fine lines on or striations. The gills start off almost pure white on younger specimens and then they start going an off-white to yellowish colour as they mature. The gills are crowded and they are free, meaning that the gills are not attached to the stem. Here's a really young one here, you can see it's just erupted from its vulva. And you see it's only just starting to get that colour on the cap. They do have a pretty much white to off-white colour when they first erupt and then they start to get this more olivey green yellow colour. So although these are deadly 
poisonous mushroom. There's no reason to fear them as long as you don't eat them. So there's no reason to go around destroying them. I've picked a few here just for the purposes of identification for the video. But this woodland is pretty much full of them. Here's what they look like during different growth stages. I haven't managed to find one still in its vulva. But there's one that's just erupted. And you can see the cap starting to flatten out as it matures. 